What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. As Samsung has finally started rolling out the brand new update for Galaxy S22 series. This is the Galaxy S22 Ultra I got here. Finally, we have received the May security patch 2024. We have been waiting for this update or for the S22 series. We have already got this update for the S23 and S24 series and many other A series and uh, some other FNM series as well. And this being a two year or two generation old device, the update has arrived a little late. It's almost end of May and now we have started getting this update. Hey, but the best part is we already have one UI 6.1 update with all new features that we've got for the Galaxy S23 and S24 series. Now, before we go ahead, if you're interested in this beautiful looking abstract wallpaper, I've left a link for you guys to download it. You can go ahead and check the link in the description. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. You can download them from all my previous videos as well. Now, let's go to these settings. Tap on software update. Here, let's tap on download and install. As you can see, this is the change lock here, which is the security of your device has been improved. After updating, you will not be able to downgrade to the old software because of updates to the security policy. That is something to note here. And then we can see there is no new features here. It just talks about the device stability and bug fixes. So if you're facing any bugs or any issues on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, S22 Plus or S22 regular, especially after One UI 6.1 update, this update should fix those issues. I did read some of you guys mentioning the battery performance issues on this phone. So if you are facing that, this is the update which is going to fix it. Uh, as far as my device is concerned, this phone is doing pretty good without any issues. The battery performance has really improved and this beast is just reborn again. Kudos to Samsung for doing that. Uh, all this while we had a battery performance issues on this device. But after One UI 6.1 update, the battery performance issue has been resolved at least on my device. And many of you guys have also mentioned that the battery performance has improved. At least about 30 minutes to one hour of extra screen on time now we are getting on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now let me just go ahead and resume download here. Uh, you can see the size is about 418.71 uh, MB and the version number ends with 9EXE4 and it says security patch level 1st May 2024. Now it's downloaded. I'm going to install this on the phone and get back to you guys in a minute. Of course, there is no new features, but let's just check out the phone after the installation of this particular update. All right, now the phone has just been updated and it has just restarted. Now let's give a few minutes for the phone to settle down and then we will see how it works. Okay, now let me just open the Galaxy Store and let's check out if there is any new update for the applications. As you can see, we have got a few updates for the third-party applications as well as uh, authentication framework and Samsung TTS, text-to-speech services. Uh, let me just tap on update all. Let's go back home. Now let's quickly open a few applications here and see how it works. You see, there is no lag at all in opening the applications. Even though some of the apps are updating in the background, the phone is running very smoothly without any issues. Let's go to the recent application. Let me just scroll through the recent apps here. You see there is no lag or stutter on the phone. Let me just close some of these apps. Let me tap on close all. You see there is no stutters at all. Let's also open the notification panel and see. You see there is no issue at all on the notification panel, no stutters. Let's press and hold on the home screen. Again, the animation is smooth like butter. There is no issues at all in terms of animations, stutters or lags on the phone. Now, like I said, the battery life is really good on this phone. I'm getting at least about uh, six and a half to seven hours of minimum uh, screen on time on Wi-Fi network on the optimized mode. Now, in one of my previous videos, I did suggest you guys to uh, go ahead and uh, factory reset this phone so that you get a better battery life. I'm not sure how many of you guys did that. Uh, so if you are still not getting good battery life, go ahead and reset your phone. A factory reset, a complete factory reset would be better. And once you do that, you will see the difference in performance for sure. You will see a better battery performance as well on this phone. And as far as the camera app is concerned, it looks like the, uh, the images look a little better and a little sharper than before. Uh, not after this update, I'm saying after uh, the One UI 6.1 update, it looks like the camera performance also has improved a little bit. Not a noticeable difference though, but for some reason, I feel that the, uh, uh, the photography and videography has improved a little bit on the S22 series. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you own a Samsung Galaxy S22 series device, uh, let me know in the comment section whether you have got the update or not. If you haven't got it yet, go ahead and check it out on the settings menu and under software section. Uh, if it is available in your region, you should be able to download and install it, make sure you download all these updates uh, every month because these updates are really crucial for the security of your phone. You may feel or you may think that every time you update your phone, Samsung is going to degrade it or it is going to reduce the performance of the device. Nowadays, I don't believe in 
that uh, every update is very important. Like you see on One UI 6.1, the phone improved a lot. And even the security patches are the must. It protects the phone from vulnerabilities, uh, virus attacks and all that. Uh, if you are using banking applications or doing online transactions to the phone, it's very important to have the updated device. So you need to make sure you install the latest security patches on the phone. That's all I have here. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community. And do not forget to hit that like button. I really appreciate that. And uh, I hope you have not forgotten to download this wallpaper. Go ahead, download it and set it on your home screen and enjoy these wallpapers. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.